The Star Wars Episode 7 toys have been one of the closest guarded secrets in toy history and we're delighted to finally be unveiling those toys today in our own Star Wars Toy Museum. I've been collecting Star Wars for over 30 years now. Um, my earliest memories were on Christmas Day, opening up the attack, which we see here today, and being excited by that. Going to the cinema for the first time with my father in 1983 to watch Return of the Jedi, and then seeing the new films released, and, and the new, obviously the new film is coming out soon, so it's been with me for, for all my life. One way that I used to do my yearly Christmas list was to get an Argos catalogue and cut the pictures out and give them to my parents. Um, so it's extremely exciting every, every year, you know, and I'm, I'm incredibly grateful and happy to be here today on the launch. It's like a 360 degree ball and you can come at it from any angle or any age. So if you're a little kid, you're going to go nuts for all these toys. But if you're an older collector, you've got all the nostalgia of it. So being into it since I was sort of seven or eight, um, I don't know what it is about Star Wars that grabs hold of you, but it's still got me. Star Wars toys have changed remarkably over the years. We have very limited articulation um, to the figures we see today where you can move them around. The vehicles have changed a lot as well. Um, they have got sounds, lights, and the new Millennium Falcon's even got a gun you can fire from. Um, so they've changed a great deal. I particularly like the Lego uh, toys that have been released, particularly the, the Special Forces TIE Fighter, which gives a bit of a dark slant on the original vehicle and I know features a lot in the new film. Star Wars has been around for 40 years. It attracts a lot of age ranges, a lot of generations are interested in it. Um, we've all grown up with it um, and it's got, uh, got humour, it's got romance, it's got action. You know, all the things that make a great series and a great film. As one of the UK's oldest toy retailers, Argos has been selling Star Wars toys in it since 1979. We're expecting the new toys to be in huge demand this Christmas, so we're recommending that people buy these toys early to avoid disappointment. 